What do you do in the procedure that receives the exception? So really there's three things you can do. First of all, you might handle the exception. So I'm going through some sort of repetitive uh, operation, I get the exception, that means I'm finished with that part of the program, I go on to the next. Okay, another thing you might do is you might propagate, uh, and what that means is uh, the exception has a different meaning to your caller, and so you sort of throw it up as a different exception, which is meaningful at the level of your specification. But there's a third thing, and this unfortunately is always present, even though it may very rarely happen, and that is that the exception is not supposed to happen. So I just checked that the set was not empty, then I called choose, and it threw the empty exception. And the question is, what should a programming language do about this? So one thing a programming language can do about this is to insist that you write the exception handling code anyway. But that's not really great because that means your entire program gets full of this useless exception handling code. Another thing a programming language might do is to propagate that sort of blindly. And the problem with that is that then you never know what the interface of a procedure is because uh, it's not what you listed, it's all this other stuff as well. So the clue solution was to turn this exception, any unhandled exception was turned into a special exception called failure. Failure was always another possibility for any procedure that you called. And clue exceptions actually had arguments, and the argument of the failure exception was a description of the exception that had caused the failure to happen. And I think that this is, in fact, a very good way of dealing with exceptions in a programming language.